From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. It's harvest time in the high Andes of Peru. The villagers here are expecting a good crop, with enough to feed their families and a surplus to sell. This wasn't always the case. Few plants survive at altitudes of around 4,000 meters. And what farmers today have come to rely on is a grain that was once fit only for animal consumption. Professor Luz Gomez Pando from La Molina National Agrarian University in Lima explains. Barley was growing for centuries in Peru. It was brought by the Spanish people, but the varieties that the farmers grow, it was for animal food. So we decided to improve that. We decided to have a, a barley that could be used for human food. It all started here through a project sponsored by the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, and the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. A technique that uses radiation on seeds to induce changes in plants was applied. The gamma rays speed up the evolutionary process of spontaneous changes that occur in nature, the natural ability of plants to evolve that would normally take millions of years. The irradiated barley seeds were planted at La Molina University in Lima. Breeders, led by Professor Gomez Pando, selected the best plants and replanted their seeds. The selection process continued for seven years until eventually, in 2006, Centenario was born, a new barley strain, Peru's best variety so far. It provides more grain than other varieties, it's tasty and rich in protein. Centenario is also disease resistant and tolerant to the extreme weather conditions common in the Andes. Most importantly, it's improving the income and health of people in this remote region, like Erwin Ortega Carvajal, a barley farmer. It has more grains and they are heavier. It's also a very good source of food for our children, and it's good for their development. Centenario barley fetches a much better price at market than other varieties. This local trader buys it here, processes it into flour or pearled barley, and sells it around the country. Juan Paitan is one of many farmers here who plant this strain. His family uses it for their own meals and Juan sells seeds to his neighbors and grain to local mills. What I need now is to find a broader market, for example, in the capital, Lima, to be able to satisfy the large demand for barley. In Lima, the El Gran Molino bakery chain is known for its special grains from the Andes. The owner, Celestino Peralta Aguirre, is working closely with La Molina University to increase the use of national grains in his bread products. 20,000 pieces of bread are sold here every day, and this is just one of 18 outlets. The baker is replacing wheat with other sources of flour, such as barley. These products come from the poorest farmers, so it's a matter of creating a market for their products where they can sell them and benefit from the sale of these cereals. Professor Gomez Pando is now trying to further develop improved varieties of the native grains. More than 100 countries currently make use of this nuclear technique to improve crop yields. While some fear the unknown dangers of using science to fool around with nature, others see its potential to offer better nutrition, extra income, and secure food for the future. This report was produced by Louise Potterton for the United Nations.